Boom shakalaka. All right, boys. We're going to learn how to be a teen millionaire. Now, I like this content creator here. His name is Teaching Men's Fashion. He's young. I think he's 25 or 26. Now, I'm pretty red pill aware. But I'm ready to learn how to be a teen millionaire. You know, most of you guys are well past your teens. You're in your 30s. Have you learned how to be a teen millionaire? If so, you're probably a millionaire. If not, we're going to learn how to be one. Oh, fuck yeah. It takes the average millionaire eight years to make the first million. I want you to get there faster. And to do so, I compiled the list of seven essential items to get you to think and become a millionaire. One, buy clothes that are nicely tailored. To become successful, you need to think like rich men think. And the oh damn, no wonder why I've been screwing up. I got on a damn Under Armour shirt. I had a Levi's and an Under Armour shirt on. No wonder. Fastest way to alter your own self perception is to change what you wear. You have to always remember, you're still a kid and no one respects you, but wearing tailored clothing can change that. In a 2014 behavioral study, they took two groups of men. One group, they dressed in upper-class business suits. The second group was dressed in low-class sweats. They then sent both groups to go and negotiate a business deal. Those that were upper-class clothing increased dominance in their negotiation and got more of what they asked for. They also had increased levels of testosterone over the lower-dressed group. When you I hear what he's saying. And I dig it and I respect it. But I got to tell you, I feel a million times more confident and a million times more high testosterone in a pair of fucking gym sweats, maybe a pair of shorts and a stringer tee. You know, I mean, I feel high tee. I feel confident as fuck when I'm, when I'm dressed like that. I kind of feel dorky when I put a suit on. But, you know, to each their own. You wear tailored clothes? Your perceived value and your confidence in your abilities goes up. You start to believe yourself. And that is a powerful trait for a man with a goal. Those are the people that get exactly what they want out of life. Like a million dollars. And I'm just getting started. Because tips two to five are things I know every person needs. And most of you probably don't own. Number two. An organization system to minimize decisions. We make 35,000 decisions every day. 95% of them are small decisions like what shirt to wear, what to eat, where are my keys, what door should I go through. This drains your mental power, which you will need for more important problem-solving tasks during the day, like being productive or making more money. You need to minimize decision-making every chance you get. When you keep everything organized, you reduce something called decision fatigue. The more decisions you make, the less time, brain power, and energy you'll have to make on decisions in your life that actually matter. A good example is the where are my keys scenario, where everyone wastes energy and brain power trying to figure out where they left their daily accessories. This is where I started minimizing my decisions. I set up an accessory hub from a brand called Alpaca. It's right at the exit of my door. All my basics, like my keys, entry cards, and anything I need daily is stored there. Then, without even... Is this like, this is almost, I know it's not satire, but it definitely could be. And I want to let you guys know, I am already on the ball. I have this pen holder here on my desk. So I don't lose my pens. Boom. I know I'm not going to lose that. I'm not wasting brain power looking for pens. I'm on the ball. So I agree with this guy on this. That's a very good step. But taking it to the next level, maybe a coat rack so you don't lose your jacket. <laughs> maybe, maybe a closet. Maybe a dresser. Maybe a chest of drawers so you don't lose your clothes. I'm just saying, maybe a laundry basket when you take your clothes off so you don't lose them. You don't want to waste brain power, fellas. Stay organized. I'd recommend 
after you wash your dishes, put them in a spot where they go. You know, have a designated spot in your cupboard where you put your plates, where you put your bowls, where you put your glasses. Maybe have a, a silverware drawer. Put the knives where they're supposed to go and the forks and the spoons. Now, guys, I promise you this. When you get your house organized, you will use significantly less brain power. And what I need you guys to understand is this brain power can be used to help you make a million dollars. Even thinking, I know I have everything I need on my way out. Another way is to create a system with the essentials you have. Organization and structure really help cutting down all those small decisions you make daily that drain your brain power. For example, when it comes to work and productivity, I took all those small decisions and I turned it into an ecosystem. Let me give you an example with my alpaca gear. These are my three favorite products that I use daily and look how they all work together to make my life easier. My Elements Tote is my everyday work bag that has everything I need to get my job done. It's made out of a waterproof fabric with multiple compartments to keep everything I need organized. This is rare for a tote bag. What you see attached to it is my modular sling. This carries my card, my phone, my pen, and other essentials. On days I do not need to work, my sling becomes modular and turns into a standalone bag. And finally, my accessories hub. That when I unplug from the station, that accessory has a dedicated hub in both bags so I don't have to shuffle around in the bag to find what I'm looking for. All of this. We okay, he's got a point. That is a major area where I've been going wrong. Most of my life, I've just thrown my keys in my pocket. I've thrown my wallet in my back pocket, my phone in my right pocket. I've been screwing up big time. I do have a gym bag that's fairly organized. I guess I'm on my way. I'd say I'm about 55% of the way to be a teen millionaire. Waiting for this dude's course at the end of the video. I'm sure this guy has a lot of money. You know, he, he does fall in line with like the how to beast alpha M. Um, you know, there was these very, when you use the term blue pilled, that's what we're talking about. And there, these are all good dudes. Like they're all cool guys, I'm sure. But you know, there's a difference between the red pill, which is like digging down deep into the stuff that it's too taboo to talk about and really helping you see things on a, a different layer. And then you have the blue pill, which is like buy an electromagnetic wallet or buy it, buy a, uh, I don't know, God, I don't even know where I'm going with this, but you get what I'm saying. You know, they're, they're just basically giving you like extremely obvious blue pilled advice that isn't really going to help you with anything because it's stuff that pretty much everybody already knows. But if you want to be advertiser friendly, you don't want to push the limits. You want the algorithm to like you. That's what you have to do. So I understand why they do it, but I just don't understand why people watch. Reduces decision fatigue. And we don't even stop there. See, the smartest men in the world all tackle decision fatigue the same way. They all reduced all small decision making by creating a daily uniform, picking versatile clothes that they know works and can look good anytime. This conserves energy, allowing them to channel their mental energy into more important areas of their life. For example, the only thing is I wouldn't be able to watch this even if he had good information with all of these video edits. I just wouldn't like I would just turn it off in 30 seconds. I know most people's mind is wired like they, they've become addicted to their smartphones and they're addicted. They have this popcorn brain. So when things keep moving, they stay engaged. Me, I watch it and I'm like, this shit is not relatable. If I feel like this guy is more worried about editing videos and the quality of the, you know, the quality of the presentation than he is the actual message. Therefore, it's like very talented, very good videos but an authentic low character not very trustworthy you know that's that's kind of where i would place this obama states that he only wears white and blue button-down shirts steve jobs famously only wore the black turtleneck 
and Mark Zuckerberg only wears great t-shirts. This is why I love my alpaca gear. It's versatile. It works with me anywhere. I can take it to the gym. I can take it to work. I can take it to run errands. If you go to school, you can take it. To See, th this is why you don't want to have to uh, cram two different sponsors into one video because he had to contradict himself there. He started out with, you should always wear a suit. You know, dressing sharply in a suit makes you look more mature and presentable and help you close the business deal or whatever. But now he's selling you on like very casual clothes. Whatever. You know, it is what it is. But I would assume that the audience that he's going for doesn't have a memory that's going to last more than a minute or two. So they probably already forgotten the first two steps. School and you know they look good in every situation and everything you need is perfectly organized. This is what the rich do. Look great every day and minimize decision making. Let me reduce one more decision for you. Go click the link down below and check out Alpaca and make your life easier. If you use my link and my special code, you can get a limited time discount on all the gear that you see. If you click my link, you'll see the exact items that I use so you yourself can also make your life easier. Three, a pen and a journal. The biggest reason most people get stuck or never do anything to reach their goals, it's because they get stressed about what has to happen next, they can't figure it out, or they just plainly forgot. Buying a pen and a journal can help you solve all those problems and fast track your way to success. That may seem like a stretch, but science proves otherwise and I'm gonna show you how to implement it. Researchers tested this with healthcare practitioners. They were asked to write three things. Three things they're grateful for, write a story of their day in six words, and three wishes slash goals that they have for the future. In a follow-up study one year later, 85% of participants reported back saying that this was helpful at relieving stress. This works for everyone because it gives you a bird's eye view of your problem. You can then have clear vision of what you want, what progress you've made, or where you're stuck. Once you get to this point, you feel in control, which reduces stress and reduces your feeling of being overwhelmed. Four, grooming tools. Self-esteem and self-confidence are all interconnected. When you invest time and money into self-care, you... Hold on, before we get on to self-care, so dress nice. Organize your stuff. And I'm not really sure what the hell he was getting at there. Just journal. Is that all he said on the third one? Just have a journal and a pen? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, so write shit down. I mean, I, I, it's not that I disagree with any of this stuff. It's just like, really? Like, how, this guy has, hold on, teaching men's fashion. And this guy has 6 million. 480,000 subscribers. Almost 6.5 million subscribers. And this is the info that he, he dishes out. You increase your self-esteem, which increases your self-confidence. How does this get you to become a millionaire? Easy. With that higher self-confidence, you then elevate your perceived value. Other people will think you're more attractive, more intelligent, and therefore more valuable. How does this make you a millionaire? easy it elevates your confidence <laughs> literally how do you become a millionaire just be confident bro just buy a suit bro just write it in a journal bro just remember where you put your keys bro just be confident bro you know i was unaware that this sort of information or these sort of content creators i should say we're out there. So when I see people like when I see like the black pill dudes making these jokes, like just be confident, bro. Just wear a suit and tie, bro. Like, I'm like, where do these guys get this info from? Like nobody is telling you to do that. Literally nobody. And then come to find out the most popular guys on YouTube that have blown up the biggest, the fastest, the richest dudes on YouTube are telling you that. Like, that's the information they're giving you. It's unbelievable. You know, and 
I think, you know, a lot of, a lot of people have the right to believe that like they're being suppressed when they actually have real information and it's just not getting out there. But, you know, let's face it. I think the majority of people out there want the surface level, most basic, easily digestible, make you feel good information. They don't want the real shit. The real shit's hard to deal with. You know, it's like telling a lady she's fat. You know, of course, no woman wants to be fat. And every woman that is fat wants to know how to not be fat. But if you tell her she's fat, it doesn't feel good. But if you just tell her, be confident with whatever size you are, Lizzo type shit, then she'll feel better. So this guy is essentially the Lizzo of get rich quick schemes. This opens the door to more opportunities and more connections and is proven by statistics because the ISA World of Labor reported that those that are attractive earn 15% more on their income than unattractive counterparts. Let me give you an example. Two men come through the door looking for a job. One man is attractive. He's well-groomed. The other is unattractive and seems as if he didn't try with his appearance. You being the boss, in a split decision, who do you give the job to? It's human nature to choose the better looking person. This is why you should invest 5% of your time and money into yourself. Which brings me to a list of grooming tools I believe every man should have in their bathroom. The first is a good facial scrubber. You need a good facial scrubber. You need a beard trimmer. You need a nail trimming kit. And you need an electric toothbrush. Guys, this is the most important thing. How to become a teen millionaire. You need a beard trimmer. You need a facial scrubber. And an electric toothbrush. You know, if I... The funny thing is, like, this is, this is literal satire in the, uh, like, the manosphere. The, whether you're red-pilled, black-pilled, inceled, pickup artist, game, whatever. It's, this is literal satire. You know, if, if somebody, like, if somebody called in and they're like, hey, I need some financial advice. I want to know, like, I need somebody to help me with a plan of what I should do to become a millionaire in the next five years. And I'm like, first, buy a suit. Second, remember where you put your keys. Third, be confident. Or wait, journal. Have a pen and a piece of paper handy. Fourth, uh, what, <laughs> grooming. Make sure, make sure you keep your beard trimmer with you at all times. Electric toothbrush. Hold on. Five. A physical calendar. Getting a physical calendar is calendar. an inexpensive purchase that will take you to a million by instilling two key habits. It will increase conscientiousness or your ability to stay organized and complete tasks. And then it will increase consistency, which is your ability to continue without breaking effort. It does this better than virtual calendars by providing two types of reminder. A reminder to not forget important tasks and a reminder to stay accountable. You writing everything you need to do or work on on a big calendar makes you more aware because you're visually looking at it every time you step into your room. That then drives you to complete the task, which increases your conscientiousness. The second reminder is about accountability through something called the Seinfeld method. According to Jerry Seinfeld, when you commit yourself to a daily task and you put a big red X across every day you complete that task, your brain will enjoy the consistent chain and the visual accomplishment, which will then encourage you to keep going and stay consistent. A physical calendar is a game changer. Thus far, at this point, I've showed you that tailored clothing can increase self-perception. Having organized systems minimizes decision-making. A pen and journal can help you problem-solve. Grooming tools increase your self-confidence. Altogether, they will make you think and work like a millionaire. These last two will actually make you a millionaire. Number six, a good fragrance. Mo oh, my freaking gosh. <laughs> oh, man, the suspenseful music, too. Unbelievable. I got to go back because that was so intense. Like the way he worded all that, I, I just, that was epic. Increased self-perception. Having organized systems minimizes game changer. Thus far, at this point, I've showed you that tailored clothing can increase self-perception. Having organized systems minimizes decision-making. A pen and journal can help you problem-solve. Grooming tools increase your self-confidence. Altogether, they will make you think and work like a millionaire. These last two will 
actually make you a millionaire. Number six, a good fragrance. Most people will flip self-perception and exterior validation. What most people want to do is increase exterior validation first to feel good about themselves. This is a compliment, having more likes, increasing your followers, but you're looking at it the wrong way. You need to increase self-perception first or how you look at yourself. When you increase that, you think that you are more capable. At I'm going to stand by this 100%. And a lot of people, even in the manosphere, disagree with me when I say this, but you will turn more women on, like having no cologne on, maybe a little bit of deodorant, and just leaving the gym. You will turn more women on with your sweat than you will with a $500 bottle of cologne. It's human nature, 100% human nature. Take a girl to the gym with you, okay? And instead of going out on a fancy dinner with cologne and a suit, if you really want to get laid, take a girl to the gym with you and get hot and sweaty with her. Spot her when she's squatting. You know, put your hand on her waist when she's going back up and assist her back up. Get a good sweat going on. And towards the end, when you guys are walking out, Give her a kiss. One hundred percent of the time, if you've made it this far, she's gonna want to smash. It's the pheromones; they're breathing it in. Sex is in the air. Cologne blocks the sex out. Cologne takes the sex out of the air. Now, sure, this video he's here isn't talking about getting laid, and you know maybe. Maybe if you're at work and some dude, like, obviously, if some dude smells like B.O., it's like, get this fucking dude out of here. If he smells like expensive cologne, it's like, all right, cool, we can deal with that. But men that are making big money deals are working hard. They want dudes that are productive. They don't fucking care what you smell like. Cologne is going to have zero impact on your financial life. It can actually hurt you in your dating life. No impact at all. The only time it might come in handy is when you're walking past like people in the grocery store. They're like, oh, well, he smells pleasant. It's not too terrible. It's not going to get you laid. It's not going to get you rich. But a lot of people do push that in both of those categories. At accomplishing tasks and that increases exterior validation. Research and olfactory stimulation shows that a good fragrance can increase your self-perception. When you apply a fragrance that you love, you increase positive emotions, which creates a positive mindset. For example, look for fragrance notes like lemon or bergamot, which have been found to create an invigorating effect. So next time you buy fragrances online, always go to the description tab where you can see all the notes and look for ones like the ones I mentioned above to help spark that positive mindset. Seven, courses and mentorship. Any free time you have, you should be learning. If you truly want to become a millionaire, you have to switch your mentality. Most men are just waiting to just finish school so they could stop learning and finally make real money. Millionaires, they never stop learning and they'll pay for it. Let me give you an example. If you're going the traditional route, that means you're going to pay for college. If you're going the untraditional route, which means you won't go to school, you'll pay for it in two ways, either through courses to learn the skills you need to get where you want to be, or with time to slowly learn with experience. The author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki put it best, work to learn, not to earn. If you want to speed run your way to the top, you have to find someone who's actually made it and then you'll pay them to teach you to do it as well. You're going to avoid all the failures and mistakes and get to your destination faster. And that's all you need to know. Those seven items will get you to a million dollars. If you guys want two more videos to level up, I'm gonna leave them right here. See you guys next time. I don't think I can handle any more of that. That's fucking crazy. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Not a bad book, but honestly, I have never read a book that's improved me at all, except for maybe the Bible. Like, it's a good, interesting read, but getting rich is pretty self explanatory. Making money is pretty self explanatory. You have to come up with 
you either have to, maybe you have a career that pays really good or you're, you're, you're business savvy. You can turn anything into a million dollars. I mean, you could be a barber and if you own the property, you own the company name and you're able to hire people and profit off of their work, you can make a million dollars off just about anything, but it requires hard work. It requires a lot of, a lot of dedication, time, and discipline. And most people just, just aren't going to do that. They're more comfortable working the job that they work now, you know, making whatever amount of money they make now. And you have to take some risks and put some time into it and you can do it, but I don't know what the hell that dude was talking about. All right. Not a curse, it's a satchel. But I'm a simple man, so just just a person of what is what is it had some kind of fucking face masturbator he said to get for your face or something and then a toothbrush so yeah i'm probably gonna stack all that probably won't talk to you peasants anymore come friday but it's been nice knowing you guys you're gonna be like ten dollars closer to a fucking millionaire after all that so I don't do you, do you even remember the seven steps i'm gonna need a recap i think i only hit three buy a suit a, yeah okay. suit organize buy, your shit yeah buy a, a key organizer uh fucking what was it then get an electric toothbrush uh, yeah journal fucking, yeah journal then there was the fucking cologne cologne and then read fuck, read the book read yeah buy all the shit that's linked in the description uh yeah that that's the most important thing that you're supposed to remember is check the links in the fucking in description and buy all that shit yeah use his discount codes at all of them so that way he gets his kickback yeah and then one day you'll be a fucking millionaire just like he is <clears throat> yeah buy that's my a, shit that's kind of a crazy concept though that that the fucked up thing is that shit works or he wouldn't be doing it right yeah no that's it's crazy, crazy. Uh, his channel um uh, Jesus. Hang on, here, here it is. 6.48 million subscribers. Um, how many total views? God damn it. Just the first two thumbnails. Oh my god, look at that. I'm thing. already irritated. One billion views. The first two thumbnails, I'm like, what am I even looking at? Why dog? is there a faggot lying down? That's very like ugh. Fuck. It says it's too late. <laughs> 10 ways men are dressing wrong. And that's got 14 million views. Eight clothing tricks most guys don't know. 13 million views. Clothing <laughs> tricks. Zip up your cardigan. The next yeah. clothing trick. Wear a belt so your pants don't fall down. Third that's clothing that. trick. Tie your fucking shoes I so they you. don't fall off. Yeah. By the way, you know, put the, <laughs> wear a watch so you know what time it is. Uh, fucking, yeah, like that's that's the shit that they go over. Seven, seven, seven style tricks. Yeah, see, these are all things that like I would never. I mean, I'm sure these have popped up on my YouTube feed before, and I just didn't notice them because I would never click. Six tips to grow your hair faster. Like mm -hmm. what? Like why do I want? Like why do I want to go to the barber sooner than I have to? Like what? What sort of a? Uh, I'm very tired. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. Six I signs didn't... she wants you to kiss her. Do you really need to know six signs that a woman wants to kiss you? Like, I'm gonna need at least five <laughs> to make a move. Yeah. Like what the? F like this is. It's a crazy concept. I don't. I don't know. Like I see, dude. I'm gonna keep. Oh, I, okay. I gotta rephrase my wording here so it's YouTube appropriate. But 
Like I dudes, when I see dudes dressed like that, I just think you're rubbing whiskers with other dudes on the low. One hundred percent. Yeah. Uh like, that's just too feminine. I get okay, like don't look homeless, or maybe look homeless, because that shit works too. But it's just hey, this guy, mm, uh, he rubbing your boy the wrong way. Hundred percent. What one hundred percent look, five hidden ways to keep your shirt tucked in all day. <laughs> He should take the R out of shirt. Yeah, keep his shit tucked in so he's yeah. not pink socking from the brown eye pound out. Yeah. But... <laughs> but, like... Guys, can I say something? Yeah, go ahead. I just want to call out beautiful Adriana. I think she's awesome and I really like her. So just had to say that. Facts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this guy. This guy's just for when you went up to the top, the first two thumbnails on the things, I was like, bro, this shit just screams gay. I think it was on the home page if you hit home, but I was just like, bro, like, that's too much. Where he's like laying on the I'm like, bro. This one. Hold on. We got <laughs> hold on. <laughs> what the oh. Okay. You guys what more do you need? I can tell you things that you need to know, even even if you don't want to hear it or it's going to make you uncomfortable. Because would you rather have this conversation with me or with your dad? That's what I thought. So today, an effort that you know how to properly groom your body head to toe and you're a complete Michelangelo with that groomer, I'm going to teach you how to properly remove your hair from your butt. So today I'm going to be going over six different methods that you can be using on how to hold the fuck up. <laughs> what the fuck? This dude totally what? just like, I mean, they're, they're fucking in, to, in bed together, like no pun intended, but like this is totally Alpha M. Like one, he does the same fucking shit. It's the same intro. This is what I got to tell you. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Me, like the whole the same fucking cuts, the same fucking, you know, uh zoom, all the bullshit. It's yeah, you're not gonna remove like your butt clone. hair. You know, you know, I'm I'm low-key just jealous that I can't get away with saying that shit. I mean, imagine if I made a video and I'm like sitting out in the driveway, brick wall, and I'm like, what's up, brothers? In today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to shave your butts. And then it was just <laughs> Just you won't do it. Run it. Run it. <laughs> All you have to do is just fucking stand there and shoot your fucking the back of your hands around and fucking act like you're talking to somebody and just have a bunch of camera cuts and then just be really excited about something that should be fucking common sense and break it into like 10 different parts and Barney style it for all the fucking special kids out there. And that's how you make a million dollars, LFA. It, Bro, it, shave your butt hair driving a Ferrari. You see the fucking chingus right I'm there? What the fuck's holding you back? Yeah. What to do with that shit? How to manscape that area so it looks hygienic and clean. And also, I'm going to be giving you my top favorite tip, the one that I use all the time, so you can efficiently groom this area without having to ask your dad how to do it. If that sounds interesting, Let's hop into it. Number one, the most obvious way to remove hair is by shaving. Let me warn you beforehand though. This one, it's extremely complicated to do and also it's extremely dangerous. You, I can guarantee you the first couple times you're gonna cut yourself and a cut back there, it's the worst thing ever. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. But hey, you want smooth butt cheeks, so here we go. You're gonna need a couple tools. First, make sure that the razor you're using is brand new. Don't use some old dull razor, it's just gonna make the matters worse. You're also gonna need a mirror, you're gonna need shaving cream, and you're gonna need low to do this, super simple. You're going to want to hop in a warm shower. The warm shower is going to loosen the pubic hair to make it easier to shave and also what open up fuck? pores. Once you wet your buttocks region and it's all nicely prepped, you're going to grab some of that shave cream to cover this area so you can start shaving. Now, simply using your mirror, you can start the shaving process. Now, this is extremely complicated because of all the crevices in your butt crack and your anus region. It's going to be very hard to do the first couple times, and there's definitely a learning curve to really get this right. This is why you're going to need the lotion because I can guarantee you you're probably going to end up rashed or with some sort of cut and it's going to be very irritated that area the first couple times you do it so once you're completely done just rinse everything off when you're in the shower and then grab some lotion to moisturize the area the second way 
is to trim your pubic hair. This is my favorite for a couple reasons. One, there's no uncomfortable growing out process. Since you're not cutting below the skin, when the hair grows back, there's not gonna be any itching or uncomfort. Two, your pubic hair is there for a reason. It reduces friction and chafing, and biologically, that's why it's growing there, to protect the anus area. And three, women don't actually want a smooth buttocks. They just want the area to be nicely trimmed and hygienic. That's why that's what I always do. It's the easiest way to go. So easy that all you're gonna need is a trimmer and a mirror. That's it. And for a trimmer, of course, what I use is my Manscaped Lawnmower 2.0. I've told you time and time again that this trimmer, it's... I think he's just getting into the sales pitch there. All right, we can leave that alone right there. But that's what we're dealing with, you know. I, I was going to say, Doug G, I think he's going to turn that... He ain't going to use the clippers. He's just going to sit on that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> You're shaving your ass so your homeboy can clap your fucking cheeks. Oh, man. Uh, that's pretty, pretty funny. I gotta be honest. That's the type Six of shit. Six million subscribers. Gets. Yeah. I mean, that guy, I bet you his annual income on YouTube is well over seven figures. I have <laughs> anal bleach, so I, I'm pretty uh intuitive when it comes to that shit the old anal bleach <laughs> yeah oh, Raise your so, tomato. i just like tuned in and there was talk Everybody. about shaving butts and i don't even know i was very confused <laughs> yeah what up, lady we're we're just learning things. We're learning things on YouTube. About shaving butts. Yeah. We're, we're trying to make millions and drive Ferraris. Yeah. So <laughs> asshole shaving crucial. Although be careful because cuts back there are not a solid. From what I heard. I think that was I think that was secret step number eight to make a million dollars as a teenager. <laughs> are you still on that? Because I I I tuned in a little bit earlier on uh, before I went out for a little bit and I was just listening in it for not even 10 minutes and it was like the millionaire like teenager thing and you were going through the few steps but like that was earlier yeah no this is a different video but it's the same guy oh gosh all right so ash shaving is part of being a millionaire or is not part of being a millionaire I mean it would get you closer it's say. a whole lifestyle decision you have to make. You know, you can't just organize your pens and buy a fucking suit and carry a man purse without shaving your ass. Mm -hmm. you know, it's it's. Uh... Liana would come online. Sorry, uh, I'm just. I speak out loud. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, man, I really wish she would come online. To be honest. Who? Adriana. <laughs> has she ever come on? I don't I don't think so. No, she has. She has. has Adriana's she? goaded. She's goaded. Well, I, I love that chick. So she also asked you, uh, Raging Tomato, how you go about shaving your balloon knot or if you wax it. Something along those lines. <laughs> balloon knot? Like it's funny. What is a balloon knot? Dude, balls. Oh. No, that's not balls. not what a balloon knot is, children. <laughs> the brown eye. Grow up. The toothless wonder. Your asshole. I'm For sorry, lady. a better term. Oh, fucking man. I just... <laughs> well, if, if I'm going to tell you, I'm going to make a video of it so that, you know, at least I can uh, get some ad revenue on it or something. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you won't. You won't. <laughs> but it was a serious question from Adriana. Oh goodness! Oh, from the flowers. Really love the flowers, man. Well, this this always makes me wonder about like the asshole bleaching thing. Like, yeah, I never understood that concept. I'm like, why? Like, why are you bleaching it? I don't get it. But um, Christina could tell you all about that. I wonder if that's step number nine being a millionaire as a teenager. Yeah, I tried dating a Greek. It's kind of, you know, embarrassing. <laughs> so. 
So you do bleach your asshole then, Christina. We can it's confirm so that. I, tried, I just, deep down, I don't give a shit. But it, it was hilarious to me. Because <laughs> my ex was a Greek. And I just kept laughing. All right? So fuck it. Change the So subject. you did do it then, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah whatever. All right, so tomato. <laughs> So you bleach or no asshole. bleach? I, I've never bleached my asshole. I don't even understand the process and how it I works. know why it's dark, by the way. Because your body keeps moving all, all like and the friction makes it dark. Kind of like so bruising. Someone's someone's done research into this. Christina's based. <laughs> that is some that, serious ass the asshole bleaching aspect. <laughs> Fucking oh based. God, that's what happens. Like chiving, you know, fat fucking obese people, they have like dark skin in between their thighs because they keep chiving and like keeps running against each other and it starts turning dark. That's the same with your ass. I was going to play a video <laughs> learning about uh, butthole bleaching, but. Play it, play it. I, I mean, they all seem like they're uh, like X rated or something. No, play it. <laughs> Can't get any worse than whatever you guys have already been talking about. Yeah. Play it. LFA, please play I'll it. I'll see if I can find something. I'm going to do a product <laughs> of clean. I bet you I'm right. You know, bleach with aloe. <laughs> with aloe. Saw in bridesmaids. Oh, it's crazy. Bleaching their assholes. And then I asked my gay best friend about it, and he was like, Yeah, like lots of people bleach their assholes. So then oh, I looked what? online and there's this article where this lady's like, ladies, do you not think he's looking at your butthole when he's getting you from behind? And I was like, oh shit, what does my butthole look like? So I ordered this stuff on a whim and I started using it and my boyfriend made fun of me. But then he started noticing a difference so much so that he actually pointed out a spot that I wasn't putting the bleach on. I was like, this is a little darker. Um, <laughs> It works. It makes your bottle a lot of and pretty. It so it is a little darker. Um, it works. It makes your bottle pink and pretty. So if you're concerned about your bone hole and you want it to look, dude, the guy I'm chilling with, pink and pretty, my, like my robe. Sound clip. I actually would recommend. Nice. I guess I could maybe see that. Like, if you're with darker girls, now that I think about it, you don't really see the contrast as much. But when it's on some pale skin, I guess I could see why motherfuckers might want to fuck with it. Honestly. They piss me off. I could kind of see I it. mean, but when you're back there, do you really care what color her asshole is? Oh, you're asking the wrong guy. There's been times where I've been smashing something and I spread the cheeks and I see hair and it's like a nightmare, but I'm a, I'm man enough where I'll just close it and keep it pushing. If I'm already there, That's come so on, bro. So well, do you, but then do you go back is my question. Cause no, yeah, like one, in the heat of the moment, you can kind of endure some shit, but like, I'm just it's saying, good. like, that's that's got to be a one and done for me. That's what I'm saying. Like, you, you're like, all right, well, bye. Well, I mean, away. I don't know. Maybe everything else is solid and you just, you picked up a little crucial note where just don't spread them and look down there. <laughs> don't open up Pandora's box. So, I mean, it could go either way. Or you say something. There's a, the, the playbooks, the playbook is massive. It's just how you want to make the play. Dude, I'm not a hairy person, but I would fucking literally yak if I saw shit like that. I'm or like dingleberries. Yeah. Get the dingleberries hanging. If I saw some fucking hairy or dark ass spokes, <laughs> then I'd fucking... Oh, yeah, I wouldn't be into it. Why did I bring this up? <laughs> Anyways, LFA, you're supposed to put a video or some shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> 